Well, I was just bragging about how much I love the Saab and how cool it is, and uh, I just made a six hour road trip in it, and uh, yeah, I, I had a great time with it. Um, well, right now um, I'm being pulled on a tow rope behind my dad's frontier because um, it's broken. It's broken. I think the crank position sensor died. Don't try to stop me now. Welcome back to the Team Turner YouTube channel. Sob's in the shop. Yep. Uh, had a crank position sensor fail. You saw that in the last video. Had to get towed home on a rope. Now, it's in the shop. I'm getting to work on it, finally. Uh, got a new part. Um, it's going to take a little bit of wiring because they don't actually make the original part anymore. I uh, had to buy a replacement Honeywell, I believe is the brand of the original. I don't know. Somebody on Facebook said to buy this one, so uh, I bought it. It looks different, but hopefully it'll work. I don't know. I have to dig the old one out, and here is where it's at. All right, so on a car, normally, uh, you know, your crank position sensor uh, a lot of times is right behind the crankshaft pulley. So, yeah, it'd be really easy just right on the front of the engine to... Uh, oh, it's a sub. Something almost always backwards, which means the belts are up against the firewall, and the crank position sensor is down... It's not that one. It's not that one. It is that pulley all the way down at the bottom. That one needs to come off. Uh, that's the crank pulley. I gotta take that off. So I gotta take a bunch of other stuff off and it's gonna suck. But uh, the air conditioner is gone so uh, that's gonna help and uh, I got uh, pretty small hands so at least it's good for something. I didn't video much of this because it wouldn't have been worth it anyway. You couldn't see anything, but uh, yeah, there's the crank bolt. Uh, I got it loose. <laughs> these things, I love these cars, but dear God, this could have been in a better spot, you know? I mean. Just got to keep doing that thing she likes. Fantastic. Now I can finally get to, I don't know if you can see it, there we go, crank position sensor, there's two, two screws holding that on, two Torx 20s, got it, like nothing. All right, so what I have ordered from Newark, Newark, is the actual Honeywell part. From what I'm told, there's the part number. And this is what this little thing looks like. This is a crank position sensor that's gonna work in this 92 Saab 900 base model. These are for cars, I guess, that don't have the distributor-based uh, pickup in them. So it's three wires, black, red, and green. The original sensor over here uses a black, a red, and a green, red stripe, or red with a green stripe. Uh, the green wire is going to be the, the striped wire. That's going to be, I believe, the sensor wire. The other one is just power and ground, the other two. Now for the sensor housing, as you can see, that sensor just fits into this housing here. Uh, this bolts onto the oil pump uh, right behind the uh, crank pulley, the harmonic balancer. And so as you can see on the back side, we've just got a couple little Torx screws and a clip right there. And this sensor is going to pull out of this housing and can be replaced. All right, so here's the little clip. Once you pull it out, here's what the inside of this sensor looks like. I've went ahead and put the new sensor in the hole. I put the uh, heat shrink uh, or the heat resistant material back over it. Um, I probably could have used the new, but this stuff's pretty thick. It looks pretty, pretty dense. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the, uh, put this clip back in. It just kind of hooks, hooks over, 
pushes down. I'll need two hands to put the screws in, but that's how it goes back together. It's uh, really pretty simple. Ta-da! Now I've decided to get rid of the old sob connector, which is this style here, um, and use a more uh, weather-tight uh, Delphi-style connector. So we're going to go ahead and solder this uh, new sensor into the pins. Um, I'm going to verify the colors when I get back to the car because they are different than the original colors. Uh, they're in different spots. So I've got to just make sure that... Um, Got to make sure everything works and, and matches up correctly. Uh, I'll cover that when I get back to the car a bit. We're going to solder these in and then uh, crimp them with the tool, put them in the, in the uh, housing, and uh, I'll convert the plug on the car on the other side to match this also. I'm putting it back together. back new crank position sensor seems to have fixed everything cars running better than ever another one off the list I fixed another one that's the color of the van <laughs> <laughs> 